So now we've actually come to this old abandoned police station. This is haunted as hell. No, it's like apocalyptic in here. What do you thought you read something as well? Yeah, but behind me, man. Yeah, I don't know. That's not like someone slammed the door. Yeah. What the hell? Is there loads of bags up here. What the hell? What the hell? This is heavy. Oh, We're in Manchester, this is actually the first time I've picked up the camera since the Europe road trip. Uh, but we're back in the UK, and you know what? We don't stop. You know, we're all feeling like you know, get, getting a bit of withdrawals, if you want to put it, withdrawals from the road trip. So you know, we decided, you know, let's get back out and do this. But tonight we've actually come to this old abandoned police station. Now it's said that this is haunted as hell. <laughs> basically and the owners well not the owners the people used to work in it the coppers and stuff like that they had numerous reports of it being mentally haunted so it's, I don't know we'll have, to gonna, we'll have to find out tonight see what this place is about but we're with my boys right now exploring fighters high times exploring and it's been it's been a year it's been a year but we're with with my boy Robin Bell right now yo <laughs> so guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell button as well so you get notified of the new videos to come check the links in the description for the guys as well also the links for the merch but we're gonna hit this place it's interesting it's interesting see you know been back how long since the road trip and we're just on it again Carl's tapping up Carl's tapping up Carl what do you think? Oh, it's scary, right? Oh, this map of the building has probably been overgrown by it. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? All the moss. Yeah. Do you know what it reminds me of right now? Ooh. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Resident Evil 2 right now, the police station. It's like they don't want us to know what the layout is of the plan. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, last time I was here, obviously I heard noises. I heard voices. I didn't really hear... It was more like noises we heard. And doors shutting. So this is already kind of a spooky vibe in the first room for me. It looks like some kind of, like... 18th century shackles that they put us on. Yeah, it's like apocalyptic in here. So this is the cells down there? No, this isn't the cells yet. I think this is where they would have they would have brought prisoners through here. The people that would have been like a custody suite. Custody suite, but the, the cells are way further down. We're near the evidence right now. This is this is not the part where I heard all like the noise and stuff. If we go higher up, that's where I heard all the noise. I actually don't know what this room is. So I know, guys, I know you're going to be complaining right now. I can, see, I can see the comments right now, vision in my head. We should be wearing masks right now. So you got all the asbestos, you got the dust. Right, I'm pretty sure that our life expertise is going to be narrowed down <laughs> by the time we've done these explores and investigations and stuff. But I promise, guys, I'm going to get a dust mask. Oh, it's just creepy in here. I think it's the silence. Makes it the silence there. Just the atmosphere when you're in a police station. Yeah. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. So guys, Robin was here the other day, um, having, having a look around doing some export, and you actually heard noises, didn't you? But not only did I hear noises, the door. Some door sound. I don't know if that was wind. I don't, there's no wind in here. Everything's boarded off. And like the place where the door stands, the one of these doors, like I don't know. It was just scary. I, if I was on high alert, because I was scared anyway. So I just want to know: Is there anything spooky about this place? People have died here. It's obviously a place where people have suffered. This is where police pick people up in their lowest moments. They pick up drug addicts. They pick up whoever they want. You, know? you don't know who who might stay here. People have died in here. So. Only one way to find out, bro. Yeah. Only one way to find out. I just feel like I'm waiting for something to happen right now. Getting crushed. Stuck under and it's cutting lights off. I don't know about this, mate. I don't know what's too many horrors. The 
they kept the, you know, the test if you're drunk, the oxymeter. Uh, yeah. Forensic equipment. Oh, we're getting to the smell of the police station. Yeah, it smells like a police station. I don't know, like mould and moss and, <laughs> and <laughs> sweaty people. Like, no, it kind of smells like nothing because cause there's not much that can, because of the way it's painted and stuff and the way it is, it's all like, it's all bricked and then it's smoothed over and painted with like indestructible paint. And I, I don't know, I just, I just thought he had something then. Flap two, flap three. Flap? Flap two <laughs> there when we get that box out. Back <laughs> <laughs> for an old tape recorder. Oh shit. Wow. Huh. So, we this interview will commence at 2100 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we found an old tape recorder. I didn't even notice that last time. They were they were literally took evidence manually on that. Yep. Years back. Either that or snuck it under the table when you weren't looking. <laughs> yeah. Record what you were in your sausage to say. Uh, it's got a proper old one as well. What did you thought you read something as well? Yeah, but behind me in there. Wait. I don't want to get it. Come on. You said you just did you, what did you say? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, shit. Yo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No way, so this is the evidence room right now. Yes, it's the evidence room. I thought it was like an um, armory room. Yeah, I thought it was armory room too. And you can see here, guys, they have the tags and the numbers where they would have tagged everything. Right? They would have used these tags. They didn't bag tags. Yeah, this is what they would have used to bag them. And we've got some boxes down here. Surprise, that's the last of what I had here. They would have had here, received by name. These, these would have been evidence boxes as well. Evidence in. Going to the police. Evidence box. Oh, wow. Has it got glass in it? Yeah, it's got glass in it. Oh, that'll be from a. That'll be. Yo, no, that'll be from a. A crime? Do you reckon? 100%. It's got the number on there. The. Like, quite a bag. Yeah, me too. One of the evidence like, it's cold. But think of it like this residual energy. Carl knows all about it. Yeah. But I can just have killed someone. They'll, they'll hold energy in. So they would have been plenty of items in there, like, that have come with that, of course, crimes, that glass. Yeah. Seen that glass, I'm like, what's that glass been used for? Yeah. Well, they've got the evidence that 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 they've got the evidence that
the hell? It's like loads of bags up there. I'm like, what the hell is this? Pay for it. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is this on here? Like, it's all open. An old document. This is rusty. This looks like from years ago. Boy, it's not like running, running across the floor at the top. Bro, why is it every time I get freaked out? Yo, I, th you know, I think we should just do it. I think we should check these bags out and see what's going on. And let's go investigate. Yeah, let's check out. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's heavy. Bro. Oh, 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 what the is that? Oh, no. Bro. No, no, no. no. Knife, I didn't want to touch that. It's got a blade in the back. Don't, don't make too much noise. Oh, it's been tagged. It's got the GMP. Damn. Yeah, it's got the tag on with the number. Oh, my God. That's what you're right. Look, throw himself. Oh. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a full blown knife. Oh, my God. It's a machete. Throw himself. Yeah, there's no blood inside the bag. Oh, my God. It says on there. Can you read that blood? On the report. Oh my god, that knife is huge. It's still got blood on it. Yeah, I don't really, really think we should put this on. It's, it's the same. It's the same thing on the back. It says. What does oh, it say? Oh, sorry. Is that the same? It says murder. murder. No, no way. Bro, is that a murder weapon? No. Yo, we've just found. We have. Is it that? We've legit just found a murder weapon in here, guys. No, they can't have left that in here, it's impossible. Murder. Weapon. Bro, they've been so much. Something else. Numbers, numbers. Four, four. Can't read the rest. Manchester please. They're fully tagged. Did someone open that tag? This is enough. No, I think I'm four. That is as if. There's a knife. Yeah, I think. Why are you all rolling in there? In there. I'm trying to kill someone with this knife. Be careful, you'll get fingerprints on that. Take the right. What's that inside you though? What's that? But why would the police have left? That's what I don't care. What's that? I, I, I just don't understand why the police would have left a murder weapon inside here. Ah! Can I get in here then? Yeah. That's shot. Yeah, you don't want to get in that. Yeah. Right. It's coming out of the bag. Yeah, it's coming out of the bag. Shit, I don't want to put some of that out before the bag. The knife has hit me. Uh, did it get you? I don't know, but it's got me. Got me. Let's, oh, I wanna, I wanna read what this says. I do. What does it say? Should we just pull it off? No, I'll go for it and open. There's loads of writing in there. Can you see it? Can you see blood? Top, green top tubes of blood. Red top tubes of blood. Cup of urine. Red tube of blood. It sounds like they've taken Sounds like they've taken like forensic evidence off the person. Then we've got a crime scene, crime scene document there underneath. Yo, I think we should put this back. It's got blood everywhere in the bag. What the actual hell? What's that little tube in there as well? That. This is. We need to put it back. We need to put that back. And I can't. I don't even think I can upload that. Damn, Carl, what do you think? Bro, I don't know. How, how is it possible that they've left that here? This is what I don't understand. God. Why did this have to happen? I just wanted to come back today, see if there's any ghosts, <laughs> see what is going on. Upstairs again. Right, guys, there's some more bags up here. Be careful. Wait for the door. Is there more food? What's that smell in this one? What's that smell in that one? Is it? It's like the top of the bottle, isn't it? Is it selling? 
We hold the whole floor outside and hold the inside. Still got a tag on it. Bottle used. Bottle used. That's a weapon. That's a weapon. There's a weapon. Bottle down here. You don't need to learn that. I don't think there's any blood on it. There's a sticker on there. That's one. Oh, oh, oh shit, I need to. If this is another knife, I'm out of it. Like, I swear I'm leaving. Like. Oh, it's all mouldy again. I'm ready to Manchester police. I can't find that picture on it. There's a picture on it. There's a number there. Crime scene security log. Oh, what the f is a that? Bro. Oh, drugs. What? Yeah, yeah, they found drugs in it. No, 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 no. Are those yeah. drugs down there? Yeah. As if they found a teddy bear. Wait, it says drug smuggling. It's a crime scene location, Manchester Airport. Ha! Huh. So, so, uh, no, no, that's Someone tried taking this through Manchester Airport. That's <laughs> no Yo, way. As if someone was travelling with a teddy bear full of, I don't know if you guys see that, but like, full of narcotics. I'm guessing like cocaine, that looks like cocaine, marijuana, everything. Just to for sure, if you're buying teddy bears when you're abroad in some of these markets, beware of what you get inside them. <laughs> and then we've got case number 54, marijuana, 2 kilograms. You can't even see what's on the photograph. But I guess that was where I want it, right? Yo, I think we need to put everything back how it was. I don't think we can leave it like this. No, no, I'll put it back, yeah. I think I, we'll... I, I wouldn't, I'd probably say ring the police and say they've left it. But then again, I don't want to say that we found it. I don't want it, I don't want to call the police. I don't want the police to know that I've been here. Like, I'm saying, right now, I'm saying the ACAB sign that we saw, we just leave it, bro. Yeah, let's put it back. I've touched that knife. That's true. I've touched that bag. Let's just put it back. And I stabbed you with that knife. Yeah, you hit me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's put everything back and let's go do some paranormal investigation because this place is spooky. We know that. I don't know. I think I'm a bit worried now about doing a paranormal investigation. Knowing there's a massive machete down in the basement. Let's take that machete and do it paranormal with it. No. No, no, we leave that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I want to see Carl's reaction. <laughs> Carl, what do you think? Like, the fact that weapons have been used, that like, weapons are here that have been used to kill people, right? Does that mean the person that they have killed could come back here? Uh, or so, bro, it's potential, like the same residual energy, you know, people die, spirits get latched onto stuff like that, and you know, they can reside here, so who knows? So you're saying the spirit Maybe. could latch onto the weapon that it died from, and that's why there's a chance, people, man. Could people say this is haunted, like, you guys have to imagine, there would have been loads of weapons here that have been used, fatal stabbings, Murders, drugs, overdoses, bottles that have been used to smash them, lots of bad energies. Even like the police feelings. weapons. Even the police weapons, exactly. So I'm saying let's get out the other two. Right, so guys, we're leaving the evidence room right now. We're leaving the stuff on the side. We don't want to touch that. We don't want to take that with us. And we will be notifying the police um, as soon as we get out of here after an investigation as well. Um, but we keep hearing weird bangs and stuff like that, so we don't know if there's going to be actually something in this building. I can't see it to be honest with you, I mean no one comes here, it's pretty stashed out of the way as well. So, I don't know, I'm kind of hoping it is people, because there's a lot of bangs happening in this building. And if this place is hard, if like the work is safe, we've got something to worry about.
Different districts. Room checked, all inside for disposal. So I'm guessing they would have thrown it in the floor. Up at the salt for Manchester. Salt for sale, please. Okay, guns rest in peace. So we're coming to this room right now and um, it's the garage section for obviously when they bring the cop cars in and service them or whatever and you can actually got a dog cage right here and uh, you've got a, a food room for the dogs and a little dog bowl going on. We're actually trying to find the police cells, the supposed haunted police cells. This is where the people would have been taken that were in custody and committed a crime. So I don't mean this is apparently the most unwanted part of the building. As you can see, everything's always up. This is the last thing. Yeah. So this is the cast out over here. Where they took the evidence. So now I never thought, Carl, I'd be on this side of a custody desk. <laughs> So, it's obviously taking my evidence and then... That is stepping in. Yo, where? Why? What? This is so random. They've got like a jail door cell on there. But there's a set of stairs going up. Oh, 
Someone's tried to open it, but all the used to probe on to open this. You can see that it's been damaged. Someone's trying to get in this cell with a lot of force. So someone's actually gone through the effort of getting a crowbar to get into the cell. And as you can see, guys, there's toilet paper in there. I can see what it's like. Can you shine your light in there? Guys, this is the cell number yeah, six. Number six. It's still so. toilet paper on the bed. Is it if not, I'm going to end up stood next to it. So I can't <laughs> <wait until I'm laughs> <reaching> <laughs> He's already closed the shutter. Yeah. Yeah. We need to open this I don't know. for the paranormal investigation. I'm quite happy keeping it closed now. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I did it gently and the thing just slammed shut on my ring. Right, if there is any spirits in here, they're gonna know what you're doing. If there's any spirits, we're getting the f out of <laughs> in, in these cells. Let's go like that. Shall we? Let's have this in the backdrop. Damn. Oh, really. Wait, can you explain how this works? Bro, I don't know how it works, but people have had numerous. Mind-blowing bits of evidence, including myself, why some of the stuff I've captured this is absolutely crazy. The spirit box dates back to like the 1700s, even earlier than that in Italy. Um, and you know, the top scientists of that day trying to figure out what this, what this, the spirit box is. And obviously, you know, the modern-day spirit box is now literally a little tiny box. I don't know how it works, bro, but there's some weird stuff that happens with this. So that's called a spirit box. A spirit box. Okay, let's do it. Right guys, we're about to do this spirit box in this prison. Probably never been done before, so this is going to be interesting. And if it's if this place is so high like people say it is, then I hope we're going for a crazy tree right now. Tree. Tree. <laughs> 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 oh, of course it's a tree. I thought if I hear anything crazy, I'm I'm getting the f out of here. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> just look at that. I'm the house is uh, Robin is recovering from a knee injury. So technically, I might have a chance to get it out before Robin. Yo, I can't even run. I have to power walk because of my broken knees. Not to mention, we ain't getting out of it fast. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, we're in a police station at the end no, of the day. No running, right? No running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promise yeah. me. Well, promise. you guys have to problem with me because I can't actually run. Okay, no, I promise you I won't. <laughs> no one else run. Well, let's go. Pinky promise. Let's do it. Brothers in pinky promise right there. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. paying call on to all the spirits that are present in this building with us now. Would you like to come forward and use the device in my hand to talk to us? Let's do this. Can you see with us now? Those here with us now can come forward and use the device in the hands to talk to us. Make it as clear as possible. Can you tell us your name? <gasps> Yo, did I actually say leave? Are you, are you in this cell? Are you in cell number six? Did you die in cell number six? What was that? What was that? Because what? everybody heard that. I thought it was one of you lot. Only when everyone, it was only when everyone said what was it. Yeah, like a weird, weird sound. Are you serious? Yeah, no, hundred percent. Oh shit! All right, let's get this back on. It wasn't. It was. It was like behind us.
That was like... <laughs> right, so we all heard that. Whatever it was. But I think we should continue with this. Let's see what, what happens. Who's the person that just made that sound? Can you tell us your name? Hello? If that's you, can you make a loud sound for us? We keep hearing this weird sound, but let's just keep running this. Are you, are you making a hissing sound? You trying to get our attention? Try and make a loud sound for us. Was it you making the hissing noise? Make a noise if it was you. If you made any kind of hissing noise. Or if you're trapped in here somewhere in this building and you feel our energy, make some kind of noise. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, do you, know what, do you know what it's like? Ah, do you know what it's like? What? Right, do you know when you get, you get, obviously, the people in, 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 the, in, the, in the jail cells or whatever, and they're trying to, like, talk to each other, like, tss. Oi. Trying to communicate with each other, man. Bring a drug person that has a drug overdose on the street, put them straight in the cell. 20, 30 years ago, human rights were different. They, were, they wouldn't send them to a doctor straight away. They'd bang them up in the cells 24 hours. Yeah. They can easily die in it. If they had too much heroin, they'd bang up. Oh, and that's what they came from mainly die of themselves. That and yeah. suicide. Yeah. It's, that is the biggest thing, isn't it? So let's actually try it inside the cell, since we can't get into this one. Let's maybe try it inside his roommate's cell. Yeah. You feel, this one feels cold, and you can see all the sit like. This looks kind of satanic stuff, they've scratched in like 444, numbers, dates, save me. So let's try it. In this side. Let's use my take a seat. I've not said on that. I was haggard. <laughs> <laughs>
Yo, yo, don't just don't just in case, bro. Yo, yo, don't close it just in case. Do not close that. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah, the bars all the way, all the way out, but even still. Are you in this cell? If so, make a make a sound for us. That, that, that hiss just came through the box. It's from the, it's from the box. Yeah, I heard that from the box then. That hiss came through the box then. Yes, yeah, it? but it's never come through the box before. It's not come through the box the previous time. Yeah, isn't it? Is that, is that you making that sound? Silence. There was like a thing that went oh, like, a, like a scream, and then the second one said silence. That's like a police radio. varies and stuff like that, but like for it to repeat itself like twice, it sounds like a woman. And then the, the other one was like, it's like a screaming and the voice came through saying silence. Silence? Maybe Which they... kind of makes sense because obviously if we're hearing them sounds going shh, like as if someone's trying to shush us. Maybe they want peace. Maybe they want peace and quiet because we're hearing like shh, yeah. like, and then we're hearing silence. Maybe they we're disturbing them because no one's been here in like 10 years. Yeah. Maybe they just want to be left. I don't know. I think we should just leave now. I don't think we should get them angry. No. You want to get them angry? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 I don't think we should. I said I don't want to get them angry. Yeah, yeah, don't. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I thought you said you want to get them angry. If you want to get them angry, what would you do? Bro, I don't want them to find out. No, no, no. I don't want to be played. I think we should try it just because. No, we shouldn't. I think yeah. we should. Bro, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing that anymore. Hands up if you think we should, I think we should try and get them angry, honestly. Because they're not giving us, they're not talking to us. They're just telling us, shh, that's kind of rude. No, it's true though. No, no, no. no. Ah, we're right. No, no, right, I tell you what, I tell you what. If I get 20k views, 2k likes, we'll come back here and we'll get them angry. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> I think we should try once more, but not make them angry to see if they don't talk to us. Maybe they don't want us to make them angry. Yeah, let's just try and find out a few more answers. Yeah, of course. Ask, ask them if they want us to leave. That's usually how I mean. Your, your whole thing response is yes. <laughs> yeah, no one's leaving, simple answer. Yeah. Every time I've been with Carl, when they ask him if they want us to leave, they usually don't kill Carl. <coughs> they want to stay. Well, yeah, they want to stay. 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 Do you like his being here? No. No? Is that a no? Yo, no. that's freaking gone. Do you want us to leave right now? Do you want us to leave the room? If so, let us know. Let us know right now. There's nothing now, is there? There's nothing now, is there? So, I wonder if you but think about it. Right. stopped. That's weird, isn't it? So, we've heard, this, we heard the hissing, we heard that like screaming, and there's a voice saying silence, and then obviously after that, we've not really got anything else coming through the box. Well, yeah. Let's use this as an opportunity to get engagement from the fans and see if they want us to come back here. Yeah, yeah I'm getting Because if we come back, then, then we get aggravated. I'm getting, bro. I'm going for another investigation here, yeah, 100%. There's some stuff going on there, which I can't right. explain. So, Carl, what do you think? Do you think, do you think there is something going on like, based on your experience? I don't know, man. I reckon there's something going on. I mean, we've, we've been in here for how many hours now? We've been roaming around, been hearing weird sounds, we've been hearing like voices banging. There's no one in it. There's only us in this building, and we've just done the spirit box. 
know, we've heard someone's, this is someone's shushing us, and it's told us to stay silent, basically, and there's nothing else going for it. So guys, Carl was saying that he can make the spirits angry and get more of a response, but me and Dan are just saying, like, we don't want that. Like, we just want to get out. Like, I'm not making the spirits angry, but what I'm saying is, if this video gets 20,000 thumbs up, We'll come back and we'll make them angry and we'll see, come back, bro. And see if there is anything crazy going on here. And also, Dan, what do you think about doing a 24 hour challenge in I these cells? I don't know, I don't know. maybe if you get 50, 50k thumbs up. Guys, you heard it. If this video gets 50,000 thumbs up, me, Dan, Carl, Weetie, and maybe some other explorers, maybe Explorer with Josh, maybe Steve Ronan, can come along here and do a 24 hour challenge in these cells. So, guys, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. Come on, Dan, we'll get it out to say it. No, I don't know why. No, I don't know why. We're getting out of here. Like the guys said, we'll come back. Just make sure you smash that like button right now. Drop a comment with your thoughts are, but don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell notification to check out the latest new videos when they come out as well. Check the guys in the description as well. Check the merch as well. And that is it from here. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys soon.